Welcome back to my channel and uh, today I'm going to show you something interesting. If you're interested in experiments such as high voltage electronics, power electronics, Tesla coils, induction heaters and that type of thing, I'm going to show you how to make this Litz wire that I have here. I just made this batch. Litz wire is special because it consists of a number of electrically isolated strands that presents a greater surface area for conduction of electricity, which at higher frequencies allows the wire to conduct a lot of power without getting very hot. And that's why I like making this stuff. And it's kind of expensive to buy. So I made this with 30 gauge wire, and here's it on a flyback transformer. And uh, here's a spool of it that I just made. This is 30 gauge wire, it's probably about 50 strands. And this is where I dipped it into a solder pot to get all the wires at one end to be electrically joined. Here's my electric solder pot. This stuff has got like about 2,000 strands of thin wire in it. It presents a very large surface area. And here's some that I salvaged out of a microwave oven. This stuff is 30 gauge wire on a spool. You can use thinner wires, but there's a higher chance that they might break when you're making the Litz wire. And what I've done to to make this list wire, let me just show you how I do it. Got a couple of um, grip wrenches here and stuck it on the shelving units in the garage. Wrap it around a couple of times and just start walking back and forward. You can do that about, it's like exercise actually. You can do that a few times. Here's the other grip wrench. So I got a good 20 to 30 feet here. And if you want more strands, you just take it and double it up. Then you double your strands without having to walk twice as much. I'm gonna use it as is, and I've got a good few strands here. So um, let's finish it off. I kind of ran out of wire. Here I just put a zip tie around the center of it there to kind of hold the strands together and I'm going to lightly twist it with a drill. Here it is finished. After twisting it together, it's almost like the stuff I salvaged out of the uh, microwave oven. This stuff is uh, easy to make, very useful, can carry very high currents and like I said, it's great for power electronic projects. And you know, it's got about probably 50 strands in it. So it's a good, uh, it's a good number of strands. If you wanna like uh, use it as Litz wire, you have to use a solder pot at one end that you wanna connect and melt all the strands, solder them all together and then do, do the same at the other end. So that's what we'll do next. Here's how you join all the ends together using a solder pot. Here's the wire all joined together at the end, at one end. We're gonna do the same at the other end. Between the ends, the wires will be electrically separate. So there you go, just a quick video on how you can make your own Litz wire. I have some here on these um, flyback transformers, but you can use this in any high voltage project. And it's very useful for high power electronics projects. Please don't forget to subscribe and peace out.